Hey, yo, folks. So the last few weeks, I've been gathering testing feedback from my alpha testers. And now I am working on obviously fixing lots of bugs and miscellaneous changes. But I have two main design goals that I'm also working on, which relate to combat. The first thing is to make the combat feel a little more satisfying, a little more punchy, and make it so in general that the player's actions have more impact in order to kind of streamline the combat process and make it feel more satisfying. Uh, that I will talk about more in a future video because I'm still working through all those changes. But another goal I have is to make the combat easier to learn. And a core part of the combat system is also equipping charms. And so I'm going to show one thing today, a tiny improvement I made today that I think will help with that regard, which is for some of these charms, first of all, most charms have had more than one effect they would have. And for now, I've simplified it to charms do one thing. Uh, so this pendant of light only increases your light elemental damage. And the second thing you did is down here, you can see I've added this gray text that describes what that effect actually means that I can put on to charms that do only have one effect. There's enough space in the box for that. And since these are the ones you're going to start the game with, I figure that's a great way to at least give a brief explanation of what these effects do. So here's some of the other ones. And you'll notice if you've played the game uh, that I've also buffed a few of these spells, uh, charms rather, so Cursed Blade and Cursed Hilt now do two Parallel Resistance and Parallel Attack instead of just one in order to contribute to that first goal of making combat feel more satisfying, the charms are stronger. But the biggest thing here is these gray texts to show that. And on top of these changes and some other UI changes, I am going to be adding kind of a inline tutorial that gives hints and tips as you play the game that of course you can turn off, but will also help give at least a little bit more context for people to pick it up more quickly and not miss mechanics. Because I've noticed, particularly with the charms, that a lot of my testers don't equip them when they get them, which I'm still not entirely sure why, because to me, I'm like, this is a Paper Mario-like game. I got a new badge. I want to equip it. But there's no tutorial telling you to do that. And a lot of players will just be like, ah, I probably don't need that. And then they're not, they're not doing damage later in the game because they never even went into this menu, which is quite an alarming problem to try to address. And so hopefully both this addition to the description will help when you pick up the item, let you know what it is. I'm going to add a little charms tutorial for when you get a charm that you can choose to read and it will tell you what to do, as well as build that into the inline tutorial. And hopefully all of those steps will make sure that players do make it all the way to this menu, equip those charms uh, without being overbearing in a sense. Uh, but yeah, that's just one of the, the biggest problems I found I run into with the testing is just the the, the lack of explanation for what all these things do. And uh, hopefully those are some steps in the right direction. And uh, I'm looking forward to making more changes as well. Uh, one more thing tonight, if you're seeing this video the day it came out, I will be streaming more of my old game, The Last Librarian. We streamed that last Saturday and it was really fun. So I'm doing that again today. Uh, so come stop by if that sounds fun. And see you around.